Hello everyone, today we are going to install Viralize Automation 8.0. It just got released two or three days before. There is an official GA now. And the way of installing Viralize Automation is a little different. So, let you have an ISO. Mod that ISO, go to the UI mode, Windows 32. And you do have an installer here, which you are going to select and execute it. The installation and this time installer for realize automation is called easy installer so let it uh, load my system is a little slow yeah so you have two options install migrate I'll talk about migrate so click on install you see what all the services it includes it includes automation lifecycle manager and entity manager yes I agree we'll go next provide the vCenter username password so it is big, it is going to install your appliance certificate accept you have to select the location so when talking of the migrate, uh, you should uh, read the release note uh, that you cannot upgrade from your 7.x to 8. Uh, it just do an assessment. And it is quite, uh, you know, tricky because there are a lot of changes in the latest release. Um, here we do select uh, the target folder where we want to do the deployment. Just choose that. Yeah. Coming back to migrate, you will see a lot of changes in uh, Viralize 8.0 you will see or f really feel that yes vmware has not only revamped the gui but the base architecture of Rust automation has also changed to a greater extent other than that you can see vmware started to move their vision from you know ies model to kubernetes model you will see a bigger integration with it here we are going to select the target resource in which cluster we are going to deploy so then you can also see some or you can see more entries of Kubernetes. You can direct have an integration with PKS and the way uh, this time Realize Automation has been uh, brought up, you can definitely understand that it's not only the architectural but the approach what VMware is trying to do is now all toward container based. Even, you know, uh, in this we have to select in storage, even the entire Realize Automation is now container based. It's no more you have an appliance, you have an IS. And yes, just to add to that, you do not require any IS box. Everything on a single appliance. So select the storage. Let's click next. Let's select the network. provide uh, your um, whatever the static IP make sure you have done all the DNS entries yes guys to just to mention that uh, there are a lot of changes and the way VMware has actually taken this time Vila's automation is totally changed what I was talking about now the design is not a very when you go to design where you do a blueprint uh, creation it's not a very standard one you have to write a uh, you can call a YAML way it's quite tricky i'll i'll cover it all of them we will uh, just is just an installation of an appliance a basic one we will also do a customized appliance which is an advanced one where you will require a load balancer i'll do that and then we will cover each and every pieces what all the new changes what all the new service they have introduced so that um, you are pretty much familiar with everything we will also make a separate video for realize orchestrator so this is a password which you give and which will be common across your three appliance. You have lifecycle manager, you have automation, and you have identity manager. So this password will be common for all of them. Let's click next. This is your lifecycle manager. So you have to provide, just click on next. So lifecycle manager is where your, you know, uh, you create an environment based on the location you build your 
certain sets of application that certain location and you do patching upgrade or anything stuff uh, directly from the lifecycle manager so let's click on next let's give the name we will do a dns entry here and make sure your dns entries is done well in advance so that it does sync um, so you put your DNS entry, IP address, whatever IP address you want to assign to that lifecycle manager and the host name. So there will be a separate appliance for it. So I've uh, done the DNS entry providing IP address and the host name. So that's a virtual machine name. The virtual machine name is pretty much the name which you'll have while deploying the VM. Let's click on next. Identity manager. So if you already have an identity manager, you can definitely use that one. If you don't have one, please uh, build a fresh new for yourself. In my case, I don't have one, so I'm just building it. And when you want to do, so previously you deploy an appliance, you log into your VRA and then you go to directories and add active directory. In this time, it is a little bit changed. You know, you have to go to your identity appliance. You have to add active directory to that and then it will sync with your realize automation. Now this is your VLS automation information, put your license key, username, password, sorry, IP address, host name and everything. Review everything, looks good. Click on submit and your installation starts. So installation for me it took somewhere around 20, 15 to 20 minutes. Um, it keeps going first it installs your uh, you know lifecycle manager appliance then it installs your identity manager uh, do all these configurations and the finally realize automation um, is getting deployed it, it takes some time and you have to have patience meanwhile you can keep connecting your lifecycle manager because you will get a url for your lifecycle manager and you can log in and check even the progress inside that I got an URL for this lifecycle manager. Let me type the username password and log in and see. So it's by default admin at local. So lifecycle operations, you will have the stuff here. Once you click, you can see the progress is still going on on the recent request. So the request is still in progress. If you're coming for the very first time, um, do explore it, how it is, what all the services are there, what all the uh, environments you have an option, how to create an environment, how can you add different services within that environment and you can do an easy deployment or any management of it. This thing, uh, I think it is quite closely coupled, you know, with Lifecycle Manager and I do think that if you already have an existing lifecycle manager because i have also not used it before if you already have it it will be tightly coupled or you can use that to do a deployment rather than the way i'm trying to do it it's a very standard open platform based where i do not have a lifecycle manager and then i'm taking this approach so you have also seen that identity uh, identity is yet not done um, identity appliance is still yeah you can see all of them deployment is completed let me log into my virilize automation url So you get a brand new page, go to login, it's, yeah, go to the login page. Once you click on the login page, it will ask you the default username password. That is something which you have already mentioned during your deployment. What are the certificate error? Yeah, 
provide the username and password, whatever the username and password you have given. Yes, now you can see that uh, my appliance is deployed and you can also see uh, that the easy way of deploying it. I will also do a customized level. I will log in and I'll walk through all the things. What all the changes you have done in my next part two video series. For right now, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and leave your comment.